great comedy tonight. We're going to see some great comedy. I'm going to need you to participate. I'm going to need your, your energy. You must throw your energy onto stage because some of these guys, you know, it's their first time performing to so many people, you know. And some of them is the first time in the hood as well. So um, uh, give them love. Because, I mean, for me, it was easy for me when I was studying comedy. There was like five other guys. Right? When I came in, they were like, ah, oh, comedy, okay, it's open for you, it's open, you know? It was easy, it's cool, you, you know, we picked everything, I was, it was great. For these guys, this is like the third year of this competition, fourth year maybe. It's been, so it means like, there's like 73, four, a hundred other failed comedians before them. <laughs> and they have to join that queue. You know what I mean? Are they going to be superstars with their own TV shows, with adverts on TV? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but they love this thing. They love this thing. And it's going to be, you know, it was, it was, it was, they're way better than me. But it was just easier for me to get there, you know? So you, you got to give them a lot of love, man. You got to fucking, you know, because if, if they make it, if one of these guys makes it, you know that they're going to be the best in the world, you know? Because it's just so much harder. There's so much competition. Everybody I know now is a comedian. So I want to hear, I want to hear screaming, I want to hear screaming, test you out. Can I hear from all the gay people in the house? Can I hear a woo? <laughs> okay, that's, that's more than the AMC people at least. So we're moving forward as a nation, all right. Can I hear from all the, the straight men in the house? <laughs> that's why they call you trash, like that's what you do. <laughs> That's what you do, bro. Whoa! The women are going, oh my god, what's happening here? Can I hear from all the lovely ladies? Yeah, you know, that's the spirit. Can I hear from everybody? You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. So yeah, the, how it's gonna work is the comics have five minutes. They have to come up here, they do five minutes, make it laugh, and then and then they leave. By five minutes, music is gonna happen, and then they, they have to fork off, regardless of whether they're finished or not. <laughs> Wow, I had that. This is my second time ever getting that 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 question in my life. How do you stay relevant? I don't know, man. I don't know how you stay. It's working with relevant people. You can't still stay relevant on your own. I think if you kind of work with people, uh, young people, stay active, doing like relevant things. It's the only way I can say. Or maybe if you work for like a newspaper, the Sunday, the Daily Sun, that'll keep you relevant. Tokolo, she chases women out. That's what happened this morning, you know. Tomorrow, man has sex with a pumpkin. Boom, you know what's happening. You, you got your finger on the pulse. <laughs> <laughs> You can expect those things, yeah. Television shows, movies. I've got a film that's premiering in America in uh, two, three weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm very nervous. Um, uh, I've got another one that I should not reveal that is it's very exciting. I've been working with all sorts of hot comics doing that show with the Bantu Awa with Brahim Masekela. And doing stand up and come here. This is my, my third year doing this gig at the Savannah Comics Choice, what, 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 Young Talent Showcase. It's Donald Lodeo. I love it. So, I mean, I've always, I, I like to tell stories and I've always wanted to make films. So that's, you know, finally, I almost be like it took forever uh, because I was be, a bit um, insecure. You know, when you are not, maybe when you're about to dive into the pool. But dive, I'm happy. So, so it took forever, but yeah, I'm glad that I'm finally doing it. I don't know who's on. So, I mean, what's cool for me is exciting is that, uh, that I don't know the, the comics, most of them, you know. Um, uh, and there's so many new comics out on the streets and every. So this is always a great opportunity to see new comics as well. It's, it's, it's exciting. So I hope, and I think that the, generally on the streets, the comedy standard has gone up. So I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs>
I wish I was actually sitting in the audience and not backstage. <laughs> I think it's oh, uh, most important is that it's an acknowledgement from your peers, I guess. Eh? You're like the other comedians, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of saying, you know what, we see what you're doing and we, we like it, I guess. Um, uh, what do you say? Affirmation. Yeah, that thing, you know. It's like if you were in the ANC National Executive Committee and then your, your peers were like, yeah, poor Alias. Um, uh, you, it wouldn't be nice. But if they were saying, ah, this guy is our guy, there is that kind of thing. <laughs> this is the National Executive Committee of Comedy. <laughs> I, I think life, eh? everyday life. I find a lot of things funny. I mean, sometimes people say that I'm funnier in real life than I am on stage. So if I could be as funny and in, on stage as they say I am in real life uh, one day, you know, so I, I'm learning to be m more myself, I guess, on stage. Bantu Hours coming up, Catching Feelings is a film that I directed that's premiering in the, at the Los Angeles Film Festival. Uh, it will probably be here in August, September. Um, uh, Another film that I'm currently working on now called Matuetwe. It's like, it's still in the engine room. Um, uh, and stand up and comedy festival, yeah, I don't know. But those are the main things that I'm like excited about, those three things, you know. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Mamelo, uh, Ready D. I don't know, I, that's the kind of guy that people shout out to. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Give that my man Ready D on the ones and twos, yo. Um, uh, because who's, I mean, you know, you can't just shout out, I'm shouting out to random people. Can I shout out to, like, a guy, Lucas Gaby from primary school? He used to steal the teacher's money, but he was my favorite. Lucas Gaby, yo, I hope you're still out there doing your magic, baby. Yay, yay, yay. That kind of thing, yeah. Shut up. <laughs>